I still have my exercises folder open up here on my desktop and another element of Windows Explorer or Exploring Windows in any folders down here at the bottom is the details pane and it gives me the details of the exercises folder. It says that I have 13 items within the folder. You can count them 1, 2, skip a few, 12, 13. Now if I go ahead and select any other item within the folder or file, down below it gives me the details of that file and it's the smile image. Down below I get a little preview of the smile image and it's a JPEG file. Some other specific information like date taken. You can specify the date that this image or picture was taken. It has add tags, ratings, dimensions, size, and a title. Now most of these fields down below are searchable. In other words, in a later training video when I show you how to search for files within a folder, and that's coming up here, clicking in the search box and typing in some keywords, these can also be included. So in other words, looking at the image, the file name, smile, what if there's something else about it, like three people? You can see that there's three people within that image down below. Or, of course, double click on it, open it up, and there's three of them there. Let me close out. I can come down here where it says add a tag, click in it, and type in three people. And then when I'm done, I can come over here and click save. And now that it's tagged, the smile image, anytime I search three people, well, let me show you. Let me come up here and just do a quick three watch what happens. It filters out all of the other files within that folder and it highlights it three people. So it's searchable not only by the name of the file but the tags and also the type of file, dimensions, and so on. But we'll cover that in a later training video. Let me come up here and click on the X to clear my search and click off in a blank area. Then come back and select my smile image and down below you can see how important the details can be. And they're also searchable. So if I want to go ahead and do a few more things like specify the date that this image was taken, downloaded, or if it was a picture that I actually took, go ahead and type in a date or click on its arrow and find a date. Maybe it was last year, December 1st. And then when you're done making the changes, be sure to save your work, but I'm not done yet. So I can add additional tags. Let's see, three people and they're smiling, but they're also at a table. Now notice when I type the table, it brings up a list of terms that are used on other files. So I can leave it as table and just click off in a blank area. Or I can use one of these ideas up here. Maybe it's a table of figures, table of contents, a dining table. I can go ahead and check it and check any additional ones, scroll up or down, and it adds it for me so I don't have to continue on typing. But if it's wrong, then come down here and hit the backspace and then type it in again. It still gives you the... Uh, suggestions here but I'm fine click off in a blank area of course I gotta select the image back again and if I didn't save it then I lose it all so specify a date taken here back to December 1st so you want to be careful about clicking off and then table brings it up again let me just click off in a blank area down below instead of up above so I'm still in the details because when I click up above up here it deselects the smile image and I don't want to do that and then the title now the title is different from the file name. The file name is something that I can spot right off the bat in the folder, it's smile, but maybe I have the title of this image that I use. Maybe it's for, maybe it's the marketing department. So marketing, marketing department meeting. Go ahead and click save. And now this file is not only searchable by the actual file name, which is obvious, smile, but it's also when I do a search, I can search it by the tags, by the date it was taken, by the size, by the title of it. So if I'm thinking like, gosh, we have a bunch of smile pictures and I can't remember, I think it was something to do with marketing. The department was having a meeting. Go ahead and type in marketing department. It'll pull up this image here and then you can double click, open it up and you'll see that it's your marketing department sitting around a table. Makes it a little bit easier, more efficient if you can have more than one word that you're searching a file for because just the file name alone probably isn't enough for all the keywords that make up that file or that contribute to that file because it's just not a bunch of people smiling it's also the marketing department three people sitting around a table and so on and that goes with any other file that you have selected besides your images like your documents of course you don't get the ratings down below as you do with your images you can come down here and say wow this was a great image let me go ahead and give it four out of five stars be sure to save your work you don't get that with your documents you're not rating documents but you do get the titles you do get the author that you can control and, and put in those keywords that are searchable in addition to the file name. Oh, and one final note, 
you don't need to be able to see the details pane down below to change the properties because that's what they are properties of the files that you have selected up above you can just go ahead and right click on any one of them and in the menu go down and left click on properties go to the details tab well details down below in the details pane and details on the properties when you right click on the file and come to the details tab you still get the title subject tags categories comments close off go ahead and right click on a picture let's take a look at its properties on the details you get the ratings you get the subject the titles in any case if you don't have the details pane available down below and I'll show you how to make those changes up here in the command bar another element of Windows Explorer you can just go ahead and give it a right click okay and go to the properties thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.